Hello, welcome to Board of Bananas. My name is Jamie and today is a good day because we get to go thrifting. And then we're gonna come back here and I'm gonna show you what I found and how I'm using some of the things. <laughs> anyway, um, before we do that, I have a couple of orders of business. One is a huge, huge thank you. Um, for those that commented, left me such amazing, beautiful, sweet, overwhelming comments of support on my last video. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, I was completely overwhelmed with how much love and support and prayers you guys were saying for me and my family. I appreciate it so much. Um, my heart is overflowing. <laughs> um, I am feeling much, much better. If you don't have any clue and as to what's going on, um, it's in my last video. Today is a collab video. I am collaborating with my new friend, Jen's House of Six, here on YouTube. She um, is a thrifter. She loves to repurpose things like I do and think outside of the box. Uh, so that is a lot of fun. Um, she is a small channel and uh, she's the sweetest. She reached out to me. She's adorable. Please go over and check her out. Um, I think you'll like her. So. Let's go thrifting. We are starting our thrifting today at Nostalgia Antiques in Hudson, Wisconsin. So technically that's antiquing, right? Except I like to go to these places. Sometimes you find some really great prices, but I like to get ideas of things to look at for at thrift stores if the prices aren't great. And they also have some really good tips and unique ways to display their collections and their items for sale. So that's always really fun to see too. The prices are definitely, you know, antique store prices, but that's okay because they went thrifting. They took the time to clean them up, to price them, to display them, you know, they're renting the booth, all that jazz. So I absolutely love to antique as well as I do thrift because we're supporting another small business, right? I really enjoy going to this thrift store especially, or I'm sorry, antique store especially because they always play such fun music, one, and their displays are just so lovely. I have spotted one of my blown glass trees that I collect. However, this one was priced a little more than I wanted to pay. So I did leave it behind, uh, but I do collect these. They look so beautiful in a window or with twinkle lights. And they just make the, the light just dance all around. Oh, they're just so pretty. Actually really love this hat it doesn't matter to me that it's a men's hat I would wear it anyway I just I it's adorable I love it
You'll notice I do not look at too many prices at the antique store because I, I really honestly don't plan on buying much of anything, um, if anything at all. I come here for inspiration. I come here for ideas. I come here because my daughter Josephine absolutely loves getting the stickers and the buttons here. Uh, and I just, I really love looking to see what they have. Um, you never know. I have gone in many times and planned on not buying anything and came out with stuff because there was something I just had to have. But on this trip, there wasn't. Um, I am a budget thrifter and I do things as budget consciously as possible. So I will splurge if there's something that I really like. Um, and I did splurge on a couple of things today, but not at the antique store. They were from the thrift store. Wow. With a dolly in it. $110. That's amazing. I don't see a price on it. There's a big crack. We have now found our way to Goodwill, and there were some really cool blankets today. This was, um, I believe this quilt was made out of saris, maybe? Like Indian saris? It was really neat. I hadn't seen one like that before, and there was a lot of really cool... I wish I would have looked at that pom-pom afghan. <laughs> I didn't... I don't know why. Um, I looked at the yellow one, obviously, but yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this picnic basket. Wow, that's pretty. Do 
do you see these? Don't discount these. This is a really cool basket, but that you see is just stapled in there. You could take that out so easily and use this for so many other things. I would obviously, you could use it as a tray, but you could just use it for crowning items as well. So pretty. So many good baskets at Goodwill today. Let's see, how much is this one? $3.99, not bad. Somebody did a little bit of a craft project on this guy, but it's $8.99. And this guy down here is real, oh, that's wood. Okay, that's cool. It has a brass insert, it's $6.99. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, these are in bad shape. your price on it though. Oh, those are pretty. $3.99. They look like ashtrays, but I don't think they are. So pretty. I would use those for underneath a plant dish. There's no cover. Four ninety nine. All right, I'll look at this rooster, for you guys. Blue onion, Nordic blue. Look at this tray, it's massive. Both of these trees are massive. This one's a Lazy Susan. How well does it roll? Hmm. of these today. Ooh, but this bell has its clapper. Ooh, that's cool. I bet that's that's a recent piece from Walmart, I think, $6.99. Oh, that's neat. Four ninety nine, of course, each.
Thank you so much for coming back here and uh, going thrifting with me and let's jump into the haul portion now. I found some really fun things. One thing is the kind of thing I've been looking for for a long time and I never ever found them. I've only ever found one in my entire thrifting career. Um, but first I'm gonna move some stuff around so I can show you. Um, Kind of gets up spread out a little bit because I got a pile here. All right, first things first, I'm going to show you the most utilitarian and boring thing first, and then we're going to jump into the fun stuff. Um, and that is this huge Lazy Susan. It was $4.99 and it just seems like butter. Um, and I think what I'm going to do is align this in here. It's really dusty, but I'm going to line this in here with some like shelf liner to make it a little grippier and then I'm gonna put this in my upper cabinet like I have a corner cabinet that's it's they're so awkward um but I love lazy seasons for up there so I'm going to use this up there I think and put my canned goods on it uh I think I'll be able to get a lot more canned goods than the three little lazy seasons I have in there right now so I think this might be a solution to my problem so that was $4.99. And I did get 25% off all of these prices because I went on a Wednesday for my, uh, and got my veterans discount. My husband's a veteran, they give me the discount. Um, with the exception of one thing that I went back for and ended up paying full price because I didn't get it on Wednesday and then regretted it. Also, <laughs> if you hear like crinkling and crumpling, I have Grim, he is my black kitten in here with me. He's never too far away from my feet. <laughs> so and he found a piece of foam. So he's crunching on that. I apologize, but it's keeping him busy. What buddy? Oh, <laughs> he sees the, the lights on the closet doors. Okay. Second up, I found this. This was $3.99. So I paid, um, three dollars for it and it is just a solid wood frame it's missing the glass which i don't mind and then um it does have this it says alfred's picture frames 1982 design patents applied for los angeles california and it was originally sold at craft village for 26.99 back in the day so and there's a little thing right there but isn't that pretty i have a gallery wall of these like gilded style frames um so i like none of the decoration on it or anything is broken so i'm really excited about that um so i'm just going to clean it up find a piece of glass to fit inside and use it as a picture frame can't wait to do that all right i did find one other picture frame and it is technically it's a plastic picture frame it was $2.99 it's like a newer style but it looks like an older style and I love that as well um in this I don't have a project um in mind that I'm going to use this for but I have a lot of like vintage art prints that I can print off uh so I might just do that and get this in here but I'm not sure exactly where it's gonna go yet I'm thinking maybe my entryway I haven't decided. Next up, I found a gardening book. Um, if you're new, my husband and I bought some acreage in the woods and we will be building there. Um, I'm, I wanna say soon, but it's not soon. We're working on it very, very slowly. It's going to take us a few years um, because we're doing it ourselves with our own two hands as much as possible. So um, yeah that's what we're planning on as of right now anyway but i have been looking for gardening books and that kind of thing because i'm excited to get back into that um we live in a subdivision right now so like the kind of gardening i want to do i can't really do here but i can here uh and and at the land and this is projects for small gardens um, it's 56 projects on fold out pages with step-by-step -step instructions and they are not like technically like gardening instructions they are like garden plans instructions i will show you what i mean 
like for example this is one that caught my eye i love this style i want to do this in the woods and this is um like look at that like it's like a split rail fence now imagine this going through a tra on either side of a trail in the woods with wildflowers underneath and uh, i so want to have a secret garden <laughs> <laughs> but then it shows you how to do it inside and look it even shows you how to make the little like bent wood um, edging and stuff like that I am so excited about this book there are several different designs in here like look weaving your own little okay this one's not so much me but all the herbs ah! <laughs> and the flowers, I'm gonna drop it and break it. And then the plans for like this box, isn't that cool? Oh, I love it so much. I cannot wait to put this into use. I am going to miss in this house though, I used to have a hedge, like a 40 foot hedge of lilac bushes. And right now I have two ginormous uh, snowball bushes that I planted myself on the side of our house and it kind of gives us privacy in the summertime and the blooms are so beautiful and they smell so good um, I'm gonna miss those so I'm gonna de definitely plant some of those at the new place but I'm excited about this book for like the, the structural structural pieces of the garden and then this is the one thing I was telling you that the, what I keep my eye out for that I never Fine. I've only ever found one and it was red and it might have been Pride and Prejudice, but this one is Livy, The History of Early Rome, and it is an Easton Press, 100 Greatest, what is it, the 100 uh, Greatest Books Ever Written, and it's like the pages are all gilded and it's hardbound in leather and illustrated and... Um, it's part of their, oh, I already said it, um, the 100 greatest books ever written. So there's 100 of their books like th that the Eastern Press has, has in print like this. They're not vintage. I mean, maybe some of them are, but you can still buy like via subscription, I believe, from the Eastern Press, the 100 greatest, 100 greatest books ever written. And, um, but I'm not willing to do that because they're like the first one you can get for like 20 bucks or something like that. But every book after that is like $75. So to find one for $5, I was really excited um, at Goodwill. Um, I specifically am looking for Moby Dick, The Legend of Sleepy Hollow, and Grimm's Fairy Tales. Those are the ones I'm looking for and I am dying to find them. <laughs> So, um, yeah, and they do have this beautiful, you know, the ribbon inside here for the bookmark, as well as the beautiful, like, tapestry um, insect cover. So, yeah, i super stoked that I found this book. I, I just, I'm so excited for it. <laughs> oh, my husband is calling me. Hi, babe. I did find two more items that I was really excited about. First of all, it was this bean pot. This is the item that I went back for. Um, I had it in my cart. It was $10.99. I had it in my cart and I drove it around the store and then I went to like go to checkout and I realized I had painting all on the front. Um, and I was like, oh man. <laughs> so I put it back. And then I was kicking myself. And I was kicking myself. And I was kicking myself until on Saturday I went back and got it. I was like, you know, I'm just going to, why don't I just take off the paint? And so that's what I did. <laughs> and it was so easy. You guys definitely check to see if you could remove the paint on things. Because this is a beautiful, it's just, it's a bean pot. Yes, it's a bean pot but it's not just any old bean pot. It's made in the USA yellowware. And I was, I adore this like mustardy, earthy color. So I've, I've been finding myself really being drawn to it. Um, and I just think it is so beautiful 
And it goes with, let's see if I can hold these up without breaking them, it's gonna be heavy. Like, look. Right? So, I, I don't know, I just, I love it. And I think I have um, like this pottery barn duvet, it's like a vintage floral pottery barn duvet um, that I got off eBay quite a while ago. And I think this is going to go so well. It's gonna go well anywhere in my house, but I think it's gonna go especially well in there um, because it has some of that mustardy yellow in there as well. And it just has some like pink flowers or like, I like, I like the fact that I could make this look springy and girly in the summer, but I could also make it look moody and dark in the fall. So, or in the winter months, so I'm looking forward to that. And the last thing I found was a lamp, a floor lamp specifically. I've been looking for a certain type. I, I want a, a vintage bridge lamp, but they're very hard to find. And, they're, and when you do find them, they're a lot of money. They're a, very expensive. I've never found one that it was at a decent price. But I there follow this Insta, Instagram account. I thought it was Miss Mustard Seed, but it wasn't Miss Mustard Seed. I can't figure out who the account was that had one of these lamps. And I was like, ooh, I'm going to be on the lookout for one of those. Um, and I found it, but now I can't remember the Instagram account. Oh, I hate it when I do that. But uh, it's gorgeous. I don't love the shade, so I'm going to be doing an update on the shade. Uh, so stay tuned for that. I may have or may have already not recorded it. So <laughs> for my next video, uh, but I absolutely love it now. It is way more my style. So um, yeah. I hope you like it. Um, and that is everything that I have for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe and check the description box for Jen's House of Six link. She will be putting up a thrift with me in haul today as well. Um, and thank you for watching so much. I appreciate it. I know that our moments aren't promise. So you choosing to uh, spend a few of your moments with me today is very much appreciated. Um, I am so thankful for you. Bye guys. Have a great day.